Hello guys, this is Hexagon Zero, and welcome back to another episode of, well actually, a uh, recording Black session Blue. of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Alrighty then, last time we were doing a whole bunch of Kingston stuff, but we have since finished that, so there is kind of no point going back there except to pick up collectibles, which I do off camera anyway. But anyway, the next main mission has us back here in Nassau, so I thought I'd go check that out, and... As I was signing in here, I saw that it my the like a little picture that it has on your um uh save file has changed. It's changed to, to like a sunken ship. Just the carcass of a sunken ship. And you know, that has me thinking that maybe I might be getting the diving bell soon. And that has me excited because there's so many Another? diving bell stuff. A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Ah, we're working on that. Uh -huh. Dear lady, what do they call you? And when uh -huh. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, <laughs> well, good lead. I, I, uh, oh, oh, and he goes down. Bag of shite! Do you hear me? It's a bag of bloody shite! She's gonna hide. It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, V. Yeah, it's Blackbeard. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Fortify Nassau. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. Fortify Nassau. Fortify Nassau. I don't see what the issue is. And if you guys can walk a little of any faster, it would be great. Is I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Dan. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, over. idiocy. And a Not a sunbeam of difference between me. here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. But taking a wide view, we're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye, Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't yeah. believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch? Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember what I tell you? That? Keep your cannons, Court. Piss off, Ben. Buy a diving bell. I have to buy the freaking thing? God damn it. Luckily I've got, like, money. Can I help you? <laughs> like, money. Like, 
made so much money. And luckily there's only one upgrade, and it's actually not that much money, so... Is there anything else I can upgrade that I don't have, and it'll just cost money? That I kind of like... I need to really look for these soon, because... I believe the boats are leveled uh, against how well your ship is. Like, how good your ship is. And currently my ship is one of the best that you can get without doing a whole bunch of crap, so, um... Wait, which one do I have to go to? Which wreck? I don't know, we'll just go to all of them. Excellent! Good day! If you can. Uh, actually, I have an objective now. Where is it? Yeah, okay. I, I knew it was like... I knew it had an I in it and a G. I just couldn't put my finger on whether it was, um... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I believe the enemies are leveled against your ship, and currently my ship is one of the best that you can get, so therefore the enemies are quite strong. But I don't think they get any stronger than what they are now, except for maybe the legendary ships. And they might get, maybe get a 5 increase in efficiency and fire rate, or 5% increase, that is, in efficiency and fire rate, but I don't see them getting that much harder. But of course, I'm already having trouble dealing with a large... I can deal with things typically one-on-one, -on -one, and most of my strategies are designed to work on things that are one-on-one. -on -one. But, that is of course, um, I can't exactly... Uh, how do I put this? I can't fast travel with that. No, I can't. Fast travel to Florida, though. Um, I can't exactly deal with large amounts at the same time. And that seems to be what this game is progressing towards. Just incredibly large ship battles with maybe me and another ship. And we essentially have to fight off waves and waves of enemies. And apparently I can't fire my cannons. So I'm keeping my finger... Like, I'm moving my index finger off of my left trigger to my, uh... To my right. Every last my right hand. No, to the right. The, this, Let's ride this, this button. Which is kind of bad, but at least I have to push left trigger to fire this. So, oh well. And you guys may be wondering why I'm calling it trigger, because it sounds like someone who's been doing playing consoles, you know, yet left and right trigger. But it's just because I play a lot of first person shooters, so I call left trigger and right trigger. Um, just because that's, you know, that's what it is, I guess. And most of the gamers that I'm ever really around are console gamers, so I've kind of gotten used to the lingo. A <laughs> little bit of explanation. Like, for example, Battlefield, no one, almost no one that I knows, knows, almost no one that I knows, almost no one that I know plays Battlefield 4 on PC. It's, it's really weird. Ghost the Royals are top! How do I do this? Do I just pull him really close, or...? Oh, no, the objective's over here. This is probably a uh, Blackbeard ship right over here, the, um, Queen Anne's Revenge. Ooh, that's a pretty good shot. Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. 32 guns, is it? I lost count of 40. Hmm. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that ain't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? <laughs> My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, <laughs> Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a programmer joke there. Uh, or at least it sounded like one. Uh huh. We, are, we, are, we already know this from my Freedom Cry series. And if you haven't seen that, well, too bad. You're gonna have to go out and buy the game anyway. Get away, gumboat. 
Uh, anyway, if you didn't catch it there, the West Indies is a compact place. In reality, it's pretty freaking huge. Down below us, sir. He's off the way. We uh, just they it's a they essentially compacted it smaller so it would be manageable for um, gamers to actually navigate around and not take hours and or days to sail in between, for say, Kingston and Florida. Anyway. If you haven't seen underwater wrecks before, this is what underwater wrecks are. You have to get inside of this diving bell, you're technically safe. And you can see yourself kind of hovering there. And essentially, you're, you can breathe here, and that's what the little bar is at the top there. And there's a whole bunch of air. You see those uh, kind of barrels right there? Oh, it, just, oh, it does. Um, you see that kind of glowing blue thing right there? The kind of long thing? Yeah, that's a barrel of air that you can duck under briefly to refill your oxygen. There's a chest down there, and there's jellyfish that sting you, and there are, of, of course, sharks that will attack you, which is kind of a misnomer, uh, considering that sharks do not attack you unless you're violating their territory, which is usually very rare. This chest looks like it's from Skyrim. Um, <laughs> anyway, and they uh, really only attack if they can smell blood. Although, I guess since you are... Oh, you can swim faster, right? I guess since you are a pirate, you can, um... Be your, well, I'm an assassin, so I'm kind of covered in blood. Anyway, so just kind of avoid the jellies, because they, uh, they sting. If you can. Yeah, and y your armor has been removed, as you can see there, so your, uh, your health is quite low. It's set to kind of a permanent four, and always keep an eye on your surroundings, and your oxygen bar. Especially if there's a tunnel. Oh, cool! Manta ray! Oh, here. I'm probably gonna open this up, it's gonna be a shark. No? Alright, no jump scare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be basically refilling oxygen as often as I can. And your crew dropped these, uh, if you're wondering how the hell these got here, your crew dropped these around, um, and yes, once you've used them, they do kind of sink. So, I would say use them sparingly, but there's like a lot of them, so it doesn't really matter. And when you're doing cutscenes, I don't believe your stuff still goes down. Now what they did here, if you didn't see it, it was, um, they got rid of the sound. get rid of the sound because you're underwater, and sound doesn't exactly travel well underwater, but it can still travel. Oh, it's an air pocket. That's cool. Uh, but they... What I don't like there is that they completely got rid of sound. Which is, um... Not exactly what it should be like underwater. There's still sound, guys. As you can tell by this one. Oh, that's a current. Current. Can I rotate my camera, please? This is kind of cool. Uh, hey, look what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still good in oxygen. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna go under. You can you can fight off the sharks, so don't be too worried. Yeah, this is this is a little funny here because sharks do not attack on sight. Is that our diving bell? Oh no, it's another diving bell. sharks. I'm concerned about my oxygen because I can't really... There's a diving bell over there, which is good. You can swim to the diving bell and get some oxygen there. Oh, avoid being attacked by a shark. Oh, crap. It's I don't like it when they do that. Uh, I'm going to try and make it to the diving bells for some oxygen here.
Elite Hull! Shit! I'm not going anywhere. You do not own me. Your sharks have nothing on me. Crap, I missed a chest. You can probably swim over there, actually. There's no air. Which is a slight problem. I don't know. I'll go halfway there and see how far it is. 66 meters in the water. I'm at f kind of full air. Oh, what? That's bull. I'm about to get attacked again. Oh, shit. I didn't even see him. Go! Oh! This is not exactly realistic. Sharks do not do this in real life. 